Hello. 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 Hey, hey, here we go. Sorry about that, guys. I was just testing my mic and uh, it wasn't working for a second. That's why you probably heard me saying, hey, guys. Hey, 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 about a million times. How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the stream. Hopefully, y'all are doing good. Uh, it's that way, right? To zoom in. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. We are diving back in with some more of our Mountain Blade 2 campaign on the Game of Thrones mod. And we're doing, uh, yes, we're doing pretty good because now we have over like 500 soldiers. So I imagine we'll probably fight uh, a bunch of battles today. Uh, I might even go and try and take the, uh, so what I need to probably do is make my family members into commanders and then leave the Westerlands and then go take the Iron Islands and start my own kingdom. That's probably the goal for today. Also, I apologize I'm an hour late as well. I was playing squash and uh, yeah, things took a, uh, yeah, it took a little while uh, longer. But yeah, we can have up to nine, 600 men now. So our army is absolutely uh, fierce right now. Uh, we have a huge force. Uh, obviously, feeding them is a little bit of an issue. But shouldn't be the end of the world. We obviously recruit up to a little bit more. We have a million gold as well. Holy fuck, when did we get a million gold? I mean, I guess we are making 21k. Oh my god. I guess it's all my castles. Yeah, it's, it's, for, yeah, it's all our castles. Blackhaven is making us 10k. Nice and Castle was making us 10k. That's ridiculous. But we will take it. But how's everybody doing? How's it going? Victor, Black Wolf, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're, you're painting some Kriegsmarines. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. You you build that German Navy. Uh, how's it going, FB? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, caught me on the train back from college. Hell yeah, dude. Welcome. Uh, John as well. How you doing as well? Hope you're doing good. Yeah, we'll just let some people filter in. I'll quickly go ahead and post on uh, on Discord that we're live as well. So more people can jump in. But yeah, I'm expecting some big old battles. Um, and this probably will be the last week of the Game of Thrones campaign. Um, I'll probably maybe stream it Wednesday. We'll see how we are on Wednesday, maybe Friday. Um, but yeah, we'll think we'll wrap things up around about, you know, seven episodes seems pretty decent to uh, me. How's it going, Nathan? Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? How's it going, Sam, as well? Has anybody here been playing the uh, brand new 1.7 beta? Interested to see what people think of it. Because, yeah, I think it's obviously a really, really good update. Time to invade Winterfell. Yeah, I mean, the problem is, like, every faction has millions of men, so it makes it quite hard uh, to do that. I think next time we play this mob, we're definitely going to revert it back to vanilla. Ramsey said he could help me out. We just need to delete some uh, some stuff. The audio is out of sync. Yeah, give me a second. I like my camera is a little bit um like I need to fine tune the settings. Um custom highest FPS video format color spacing buffering enabled. Does that help? I think that's helped. Maybe. Um, yeah, capture audio only. Wait. Yeah, disable that. Uh, configure video. I don't think any of this changes it at all. Um, however, I could change the saturation a bit. That's fine. Has that helped at all? I really need to deep dive into, into my settings, honestly, and, uh, yeah, sort it out. I hope that's a little bit better. Um, yeah, I really need to deep dive and, uh, fully get that going. How's it going, Derek? Welcome, dude. It's your first live stream. Hell yeah, man. I'm, I'm glad you could make it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going, Cerberus, as well? Sam, I think I already said hi. How's it going, Fisher? Welcome, my man. Um, Anthony, good to see you. How are you doing today? Can't play the beta since I'm playing uh, through GeForce now. Uh, what does that mean? As in, like, you're playing remotely on someone else's, like, a different, like, on the, the PCs that you can just, like, stream to? Maybe we should train our daughter to be a warrior. I think we're going to stick our daughter as the governor. She's actually got really good governor stats. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, we have a pretty massive army. 500 men, 90 wounded. Probably just go ahead and wait here a little bit. Let the, the wounded get healed. We're making 21k. And then I think we're also going to probably send out some family members now to start building an army uh, so that we do have the soldiers to take it out. So yeah, uh, Glenn can go out. For sure, yeah. I mean, Glenn can have 500 men as well. It's absolutely just disgusting. 
Uh, that is insane. Uh, and then Era can go out as well. She can have another 500. Uh, and we need kind of these people to, to do stuff for us. Yeah, I mean, he can be our surgeon. Cool. Yeah, I mean, boom. That's uh, two more party members. They're going to hopefully go out and really start recruiting men. They've got a lot of recruiting to do. But yeah, that, that should be, what, 1,500 men we can muster? Yeah, it's a million gold, but we're making so much money. Like, at the moment in this mod, there's not really a lot of balance uh, when it, with regards to, to anything. And, like, yeah, everything's just super inflated. Um, so, yeah, Blackhaven's giving, making us 10 grand, which is kind of ridiculous. We're making 14 grand a day. Yeah, GeForce now is a streaming service, sadly. They're limited to the access. Yeah, but, I mean, that's still pretty good when you, like, you haven't got your PC and stuff, so... You know, like, uh, definitely uh, pretty decent. Uh, I don't even know. We, we even have a son. Our, son. our children grow up so quickly. They really do. Uh, maybe just leadership again. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, we are ultra rich right now. Yeah, our wife is alive. Oh, and we immediately went into war. Can we quickly grab up our, our family members before they get stolen from us? Uh, just infantry. We'll get some more Lannister cavalry. Some more Baratheon infantry. We have some Freys here. Ugh, gross. More knights, more Kingsguard, and more infantry. Perfect. Um, yeah, can we quickly just grab our family members? We can. We've already got 200 men. That is insane. So we'll grab them uh, really quickly. If they just, they just, oh, nice. We can still steal some men. Good. And then, yeah, what should we do? Should we... Uh, I mean, we're at war right now. Correct? Yeah, we're at War of Dawn, which have always been a hard fight. But now we have, like, 1,500 men. Well, we will have 1,500 men. Yeah, like, like if we just stay here, our, our generals will just constantly recruit Kings, Kingsguard whenever they're available. So we could literally just stay here. I could press Control Space, go off into a, you know, a, a Brum Brum, and, like, they will, they will recruit so many men. So many Kingsguard will be recruited. It'll actually get a little bit disgusting. So that's kind of a good way to do it. Yeah, how's it going, Lancelot? Welcome. Improved garrison is kind of broken with this mod. Uh, it brings down the army size a lot. Interesting. Yeah, I think next time I play this mod for sure, uh, I will be... Oh, we missed a oh, We can do a tournament here as well whilst we wait. I think next time we play this mod, 100%, I'm going to uh, ask Ramsey to help me out and get rid of him. Because I, I personally just don't like the, the huge, like insanely huge battles. Uh, just me personally. I should try to bet on myself when we have 1.3 million. Like, I think I would prefer just smaller engagements. So, yeah, I think uh, the next time I play this, I will ask to see if he can tell me what files to delete to allow me to do it if it's easy enough. Oh, my God. I hit this guy, like, four times and he's still not dead. That's Carl Cockless for you. Cause yeah, like I, I think I think there's so many lords in this anyway that like even the big battles will still be decent. Go and take the shot, shoot me in the back. I mean, we're through anyway, but still, it's honor. Yeah, we're through anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You enjoy the content, and I appreciate that day. Oh yeah, we could also marry our family members, make some alliances when we go independent, right? Not a bad idea. Oh, we're fighting our wife here as well. Imagine if I killed my wife in the tournament. But yeah, marrying our uh, marrying our children could actually be a good idea. Hey, Lancelot, thank you so much for re-upping your membership, dude. I really appreciate that. Oh, I have a flying slice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As a uh, king level, why isn't it not showing your uh, how many months you've been a member for? That's weird. It should. Um. Yeah, it should remember and keep it. That's really weird, Lancelot, but I really appreciate the membership, dude. If you let me know how many months you've uh, been a member, and I will uh, say thank you for that, because I really appreciate it. At the king level as well, that is the highest tier you can be a member. So I really, really do appreciate that. Thank you so much, Lancelot. Yeah, maybe it's because, like, you've, uh, like, there's been a gap between your membership. I'm not sure. Even still, it should remember. Kind of weird. 
Easy tournament now. Yeah, our stats are really good now. You had 250 renown for winning the tournament. What the hell? He's like five months, but I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Let's just wait here a little bit. We'll let these guys rack up because they can have like 500 men themselves. So, oh my God. And whilst this is going on, like people are just conquering land. Like Tywin's just like, yeah, let's go. Bring on the dragons. Yeah, well, they recently said over on their Discord, I think that they're... Um, uh, yeah. They said over on their Discord, but they're going to be like halting like quick updates now. And they're going to be really focusing on like the next big update. So I think the game's going to remain on 1.6 uh, for, to 1 1.4, 1 1.6.4 for a little while. Uh, and then, yeah, they're going to come out with like a big new update, adding in a bunch of stuff. Okay, I think they, the boys have recruited enough now. So, let's head out. We've got 1,300 men. Lots of Kingsguard. The army's looking good. 47 upgrades. Hell yeah. More Baratheon cavalry. More Lannister horses. Baratheon infantry into cavalry. Tully soldiers. No, Tully, Tully hunters. Uh, Lannister infantry. More cavalry upgrades. Um, oh yeah, the Dornish. We actually went and recruited a bunch of Dornish infantry as well, didn't we? Because they were just so good. Jordan skirmishers are just deadly. Let's go use them against them as we'll head down south with our 1,500 men. It's not much, but it's honest work. Let's head our way down. So how's it all going so far? So we're attacking this castle. We took Kingsgrave. We're sieging Ghost Hill. Yeah, maybe we'll go take like the... the... We could make our way down to these keeps in the Riverlands and take like three towers. Maybe that's what I'll do. Because it's a little bit further away. And also we'll go into these towns as well. Allow uh, the boys and gals in the army to recruit. As they do need a handful of extra soldiers. We can also do with a few more as well. Grind the high guard. Oh, we held up. When did we take high garden as well? I don't even realize. We like own most of the... Uh... Yeah, we own most of the Riverlands. I guess maybe they had it and we just then took it. Uh, sorry, the Reach. The Reach only have like a handful of settlements left now. Oh, Hornhall's actually silly as well. Let's get in there and recruit. We need every man, woman, and child to be brought into the army. They've got a 200 man garrison. Perfect. Besiege them. Make sure no massive army arrives out of nowhere. Because that would wreck us. Get the siege towers up. And then we'll just go, I think. So the mum since Rise of Mordor video? Really? Well, I'll have to do one then, maybe this week. Tomorrow's going to be a video. So wait, till, oh, it doesn't matter if it's daytime, right? Because the mob we're using. Tomorrow's going to be a video taking a look at the new uh, test build for the Star Wars mob that's just been released to everybody. So we'll be taking a look at that tomorrow uh, for sure. And then, yeah, maybe Thursday I can do, uh, do more Rise of Mordor. Let's leave the assault. Let's go. <laughs> Must be fate, Richard. Must be fate. Where's Glenn at? Uh, yeah, Glenn's just in the army still. I think he's leading an army now. I think we sent Glenn out by himself. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's uh, let's take down the settlement. So I've also got my brand new CPU in. Uh, so um, big thank you to you guys. Massive thank you to Monty and Uruk as well. For the absolutely humongous donations. That allowed us to afford, uh, which allowed us to afford the new CPU. But yeah, it's now in the PC. My uh, my friend very kindly installed it this morning. So we've got that bad boy in. And hopefully that helps out with performance. So that should help out with streaming quite a lot. Oh, good shot. Oh, the game of the, uh, the Rome Total War soundtrack as well is so dope. Uh, what does the 136 mean? Uh, it's how many members we have. Let me reduce it down so it's actually an obtainable goal really quickly. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, this campaign hasn't had, uh, like, the... Um... Where is it? Unfortunately, this campaign, Distinguished Service, seemingly has broken for it. Uh, let's just go 140, I guess. So we've lost a lot of members. Uh, which, you know, is completely understandable. 
But we still have a lot of loyal members as well, so I really appreciate that. Hey, Sam, thank you so much for the five euros, dude. I really appreciate that. Come on, get these siege towers up. So much damage. Uh, any more Bannerlord campaigns planned in the near future? Yeah, well, I want to find out when the Carthaginian update is coming out for Eagle Rising. Because it looks absolutely incredible. Like, seriously, it looks unreal how good the armor looks. But I'm not sure if that's going to be like a very long-awaited thing. Or if it's actually going to be coming out, you know, kind of soonish. Or like, by soonish, I mean like maybe next year. Oh my god, come on! That was like an arrow to the chest. That's such bullshit. Um, so yeah, obviously we'll be doing more campaigns and stuff in the future. Don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, ideally I would love to do Life of a Carthaginian next. That would be amazing. Uh, but we'll have to see if that's like... If it's going to be like a, you know, beginning of January type of update. Or if it's going to be like a... An update that's going to be you know, like maybe February. If it's February, then obviously we'll do something else in between that. You're watching Life of a Bandit right now? Yeah, that's a really fun series, actually. How are you even, sh How are you even shooting me? Oh, I guess that guy right there. God damn it. Oh, we're almost through. Up the ladder we go, boys. Uh, what's the best CPU or laptop anyone would recommend? Uh, I'm not really uh, great at stuff like that, so I'm not too sure, if I'm being completely honest. Will I do Life of a Kel? Uh, probably not. Maybe later on down the line, but not like immediately. But I am bloody massive. This guy is an absolute tank. Look how big he is. Break through, boys. Oh my god, I got javelin to the face. What bullshit, man. I'm getting like one shot here. Oh, it's so annoying. Like, I have the best armor in the game and I get like two shot by arrows. Like, it's just so silly. Like, armor should actually mean something in this. Like, even this guy got free shot. This is so annoying. I hate it when you just die constantly. Like, I know I'm in the thick of it and stuff, but... I mean, we've already broken through. Like, I, I wish armor would just meant something in this game. It really doesn't. Oh, it's already clear. Nice. How's it going, AM? Welcome. F2B as well. Should you celebrate your birthday? <laughs> I'll, have a I'll have an F2B birthday stream. Don't you worry. Yeah, a lot of the armors are, uh, are a bit more balanced. We have... Um, yeah, I mean, for the most... I mean, it's just a g general vanilla thing as well. Balancing is really bad in, in vanilla. Um... Like, armor just doesn't do anything. We've got realistic battle mod on that helps out a little bit. But yeah, like, like I think I think the vanilla game needs to, like, add in... Like, just because you're playing on the legendary difficulty, you shouldn't just be, like, three hit. Like, or, like, two hit or one hit. You know? For no reason. I think that's something they definitely do need to adjust. Yeah, again, it's not necessarily a mod thing because they haven't really gone through and like balanced a lot of the mod out yet. It's more so a um, it's more so a like banner lord thing. I think they just need to add in a new system. Yo, how's it going, Justin? Welcome, dude. Uh, so we just have to send our troops here. That's fine. Castles ours. Oh, 62 troops as well. Welcome. Take as many as we can, and all the prisoners as well. More cavalry, um, and we can recruit some more prisoners. I might just recruit everybody, to be honest. Oh, we're actually over? Okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah, revert them changes. I'll take a king's guard, though. And I'll get rid of, I don't know, some crappy units down here. Boom. 
Uh, yo, Chris, how's it going, dude? Ooh, a nice little executioner's axe. I might take that bad boy. Just start slicing away. Obviously, we'll keep our main sword as well. I'll make sure I... There's a Viserys Targaryen sword, so it's pretty decent. That's some pretty nice Dornish armor as well. 42 might keep us alive. But I feel like even like having 42 armor, I still get like two hit, you know? So it's not like... The armor just doesn't do anything. I found, anyway. Keep a Dornish armor, though. Keep the horses. Uh, armor will sell. Also, the armor will, will give up. And we'll take the weapons as well. So we get 12 bonus experiences, which is nice. Pillage the castle. Upgrade the boys again. Uh, kill, yeah, we want pure noble Kingsguard because they have the shields and I'll keep them alive a little bit more. Nice. Uh, actually, we definitely want to go in here and uh, create some more men for sure. Can you see the map? Yeah, of course. This is what the map currently looks like. Uh, as you can see, we've taken a lot of land uh, scattered around. Like, the, the Lannisters are definitely kicking some ass. Uh, pretty much every, like We own most of the Reach. And we are currently taking a handful of territories in the Dornish lands. Uh, we own Dragonstone, King's Landing. The North are still holding firm. We did manage to take Greywater Watch, but then the North took it back. There wasn't really much we could do about it, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go sit in the castle, let our men heal up. Uh, what model is this? How do you, what do you mean, Chris? Did you call your next weapon the fish hook? <laughs> I wish like bill hooks actually like allowed you to like to attack over your main front line. I think that'd be really really cool. So our army's almost healed up. I should, I should honestly I should actually just heal up inside of a city so people can recruit. We don't exactly have the best units in the world, but oh the Riverlands then declared war on us. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really care who dates his settlement. Uh, Jackie, I wasn't paying attention. Does the new combat formation tool in your last video work in this mod? No. This is for 1. Point s Sorry, yeah, this mod is for 1.6.4. And the, uh, the new version... Oh, a few too many. Can't actually get any of these guys. Okay, well, fuck me. Uh, yeah, so that, that's the new beta patch for new formation stuff. So unfortunately, uh, not compatible with this mod at the moment. I'm sure, you know, they will plan to update it. When the time comes. See, I'm interested to see how our armor does as well. Like, can our armor actually take a hit or two? I feel so bad killing my wife constantly, but what are you going to do? My, oh, I'm, I'm Team Blue. Yeah, how's it going, Panther? Welcome. God, Blue, Team Blue are kicking ass. Oh, he literally just ducked under my weapon. Yeah, I think they're uh, planning. Uh, the Eagle Rising team are planning. Sorry, Eagle Rising. I think they're planning. The Game of Thrones mod team are planning on like a, a, a bigger update. So they're going to stay on the stable 1.6.4, which makes sense. And then try and add in more features for another big update, which I think is totally fine. Uh, I don't know, Richard. What was the problem to begin with? What was the uh, Couch Lance problem?
Good shot. Uh, hey, Drake, I was wondering, do you use a mod for music? Yeah, I do uh, use a mod, um, but it's not on it's not on Nexus mods, unfortunately. Uh, it was a oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, it was a modder on the Eagle Rising Discord uh, posted it, and I was like, oh, I'll just download this music pack, and uh, it's really awesome. I will I'll probably drop a message in their general chat and ask if a modder's going to uh, going to add it like add it to Nexus mods or something, because a lot of people have asked me. They really like this music pack. <laughs> Oh, this guy's done for now. I feel like 1.7 would be better build due to the siege ladder fix. Uh, yeah, but you can just use the siege tower mod fix, which like, I think most people use on 1.6.4, which pretty much does what tail worlds do, just a bit more janky. You know, it's not like that's uh, it's not like that's a bad fix. It pretty it does exactly what. Oh, what's the there? Obviously, the armor we were wearing right, and we switched because it's just way better. Yeah, literally better in every single regard. Oh, better boots as well. Noble boots. Hell yeah, we'll take that. Five more armor. Cool. Um, yeah, like most people who are playing on this build will just use Siege Tower Fix, and it's pretty much identically the same. It's just the Siege Tower Fix does things a little bit more janky, I guess. But it works perfectly fine. Uh, could you pu uh, publish a list of mods to play Trials of the Seven? Yeah, you can. I have I have my current mod list over on my Discord if you're interested in picking it up and playing what I'm doing right now. However, I have noticed that Distinguished Service doesn't work. So if you're looking for that mod, um, yeah, it's been, it's been very on and off, unfortunately. Tips on any companions? Yeah, for some reason, I, I don't think uh, Realist Battle's working, unfortunately. It's not Realist back Battle, sorry. Uh, I don't think that um, Distinguished Service is working, which is a real shame. It really is. Uh, so let's head down south. Again, we'll just keep on letting them recruit because they are kind of uh, low on soldiers right now. We will keep on letting them recruit as much as they can. Again, we're at our limit, yeah. But let's go siege this castle. 300 men this time, so a little bit scarier, but should be fine. Like, we have the siege tower fix on right now, and it, you know, it, does, it does the job. Yeah, how's it going, Asgard? Welcome. So has anybody played a 10-hour game of Monopoly? I have not. Have you? And did you win? That's the most important thing. Uh, is the mod able to be downloaded or do you have to have early access? No, it's available. Uh, you can just go over onto the Discord or just search on Nexus mods. Yeah, well, it's worked a couple times Eternal, but I'm, you know, we've, we fought some pretty insane battles uh, and I guarantee you that yeah, it should be better. It should be better than it is. So we'll definitely grab that one. We'll stick another point in there. Um, Poam can go up again with another Vigor point, I guess. Oh, leadership's up as well. Nice. Uh, remove morale penalty when creating prisoners. That's nice, but I'd rather that. We'll give ourselves another point there. Boom, boom. Cool. And we will uh, lead the soldiers into battle, I think. Hey Jackie, have you tried out the Carry Expanded mod? It adds in a bunch of different factions and allows for a little more interesting gameplay. Uh, yeah, I've uh, I've done plenty of, of campaigns on it. Um, I'm pretty sure my my life of legionary was using that mod. Yeah, I've I, I've played that a lot. I haven't played it recently actually though. So maybe in our next campaign we'll, we'll we'll go ahead and play something like that. I'll try and maybe incorporate that because I love Carrier Expanding uh, and Carrier Expanding Kingdom. It's such a good uh, setup for sure. Come on. Oh my god, I missed. Literally shot through his armpit. Hit him in the head, but unfortunately, unable to take him down. Anyone here? Always one there. Oh, headshot, 100 damage. That was nice. Snipe. Let's maybe try to take out a ballista guy. Oh, snide. We are cutting people down now. Like a, someone's shoulder there. 
70 damage. I'll take it. Let's just see about the sliver of his arm. We missed. Oh no, we're so dead. Oh, he missed. What a fool. Back up a little bit. We're taking way less damage now in this good armor. Like, way less. We're taking like 14 damage rather than getting like two shot. Obviously, I don't want to still want to take the damage. Seems like this armor is considerably better. We're definitely doing our part here. Oh, that was a headshot. That did 50 damage. I got him ahead there. Yeah, I mean, there's loads of cool mods uh, that would be amazing, Cerberus, for sure. Like, I mean, name a mod and I can't wait for it, you know? Every mod is uh, doing something great. Man, that's crazy. Sounds like a pretty intense game of Monopoly. Go, 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 boys. I mean, look at the hordes of hell. Charging full. Oh, these are the easy rams. No wonder. These are the non-ram ladders. Don't worry. It's not even close. We've only got four shots left, but we'll make the most of it. Try and snipe any, anyone we can. Oh, the javelin's going to kill me. No. Let me come around here a little bit. Last shot. Let's make it count. Let's kill the Tyrell Hulse Guard. Can't complain there. Come on, boys. Get your asses up here. This is a little bit stuck. You guys aren't going to get out there. Let me. Oh, my execution is axe. Slicing people through his axe. Oh my god, the damage is beautiful. Don't want to overextend too much because I know I'll get hit on the side. Oh, his axe is. No, we went down. The axe was juicy, though. I'll take that. It seems like the boys are a little bit stuck here. That's kind of cool armor on that guy. Nice. King's guard taking him out. Still got a few more people defending here. Oh, get rid of the rocks quickly. Can I kick him down? Oh, I want to try and kick him down. I should be the settlement taken. Perfect. Have I tried the Toshin mod? Yeah, uh, we did a uh, Life of a Samurai, which was fun. It was only like six episodes, but I feel like we uh, we dominated that very, very nicely. Like we, by the time we, uh, I gave up on that series, not gave up, by the time I finished that series, uh, we we were like the strongest faction uh, by far. But yeah, no, no, like a mini carrier expanded ca uh, campaign could be really fun. Yo, Adam, how's it going, dude? Can you make your own kingdom? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to like win this kingdom. Uh, we're going to like maybe destroy the Dornish a little bit more. And then we're going to probably take our army. And oh, a lot of troops. We'll take you. Yeah, take a lot of them. Um, and then we're going to yeah take our army and probably go and attack the Ironborn. Because they only have one settlement in, in the mod at the moment. So... They're kind of like easy pickings.
cool. Um, and yeah, weapons we can take. Armor we will leave unless there's anything incredible. Oh, that helm is slightly better, but it doesn't look as cool. There's a worn cloak. Yeah, no. Cracked Tyrell helmet. Yeah, more of this light armor is actually really good. But we got we got a cracked one as well, so we find a, a perfect one that'll probably be even better. Uh, where are you from in the UK? Uh, the South. Jackie, what do I think of Rise of Mordor? I love it. Oh, did you guys see this really cool uh, mod thing they posted for uh, for Rise of Mordor? Actually, I don't know. Did they post it? Or maybe I, did I just see it? I'm pretty sure they posted it, right? It was in their announcement channel. Hold on. I'm pretty sure they posted it. <laughs> Let's double check that because it looks really cool. Uh, announcements, yeah. In the announcement section here for their mod of the year. Oh, it's super blurry, sorry. Some of the Doe Pass troll uh, animations look really, really good. So I'm excited for that for sure. Your money or your lives. Okay, cool. So our army is pretty battered and bruised. But it should be okay. We'll go hold up in Old Town for a little bit. Heal up, live and recruit. I mean, our army's fine. We have 100 wounded as well. That's obviously a lot of uh, the damage. I'll just let them recruit and buy stuff and sell stuff. Uh, yeah, no one wants to give it to Montinius. Yeah, I mean, I think hopefully the campaign will come out next year. Like, probably, probably around about this time next year. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, yo, how's it going? Sim as well. Welcome, dude. Yeah, I don't think Distinguished Service is working today, which kind of sucks. For the Lighthouse of Alexandria, yeah. <laughs> there she is, in all her glory. We have some more children as well. Yeah, Era is pumping out the children. Like, nobody's business. Is this son almost of age as well? Or is he already of age? He might already be of age. But I am training my children in the, uh, the swords craft. So they'll all be decent leaders. God, we have a lot of upgrades as well. But just the passive upgrades are juicy. Uh, cool. They took three towers back. I spent a lot of my prowess taking that and they just give it up for free. Kind of a big guy. It's got 400 man garrison as well. Oh my god, well, screw that. And they're sieging this already. Wait, did they just lose? Maybe they ran away. Oh, it's a 500 man army there. Try and catch it. Yeah, it's just 500 men. Oh, we caught it as well. Boom. Whoa, that balance of power bar is heavily against me. Let's train up our soldiers quickly. It's only four, but I guess four men are better than nothing. Yeah, a bounce of power bar is a little bit scary, but let's engage. Um, Jackie, do you think the last alliance would become a good mod? Uh, what do you mean, the Shogun 2? I think it already is a good mod. It's great. Definitely worth checking out. They just I've recently added in orcs as well, which is pretty sweet. I know there's a, uh, I know there's a, a mod shade that allows you to completely change, like, how much renown you get. I can't remember what it's called. There's, like, a, ba and it's not banal or tweaks, but I know there is another mod that kind of replaced that. It's probably worth checking out. Also, my god, the Dornish have so much horse arch, so many horse archers. Look at them, just a hammer us. Look at men do. Oh, 
Um, let's try go choppy choppy a little bit, I guess. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god, stop hitting me. There you go. Suck on that. Oh my god, I'm just getting hammered by arrows. Gotta have a shield now. Oh, 100 damage there, though. Yeah, we're pretty much one-shotting anybody we come into. Oh my god, come on. That was unfortunate. Infantry, hold line. Hold the line, infantry. Infantry, form shield wall, because they have a million javelins. Archers keep on shooting. Cavalry's fighting there. A massive horse archers. We think on the right flank, though. Yeah, I remember these guys have so many javelins. But once we engage them, it's actually not too bad. Oh, headshot there. We just have to weather the storm. Probably pushing on them a little bit as well. And we'll just tell them to charge. Yeah, we'll tell them to push forward. In shield wall. And then we'll break and charge. Let's go. Yeah, the Dornish just have such a good army. Like them, them skirmishes just do so much. I love realistic battle mod as well. It's such an awesome mod. Like this just it's such a more epic like engagement rather than vanilla banner lord. Like it just makes these battles last longer, makes them so epic. Like, it makes stabbing as well way more important. Are they running already? Cowards. Oh, we're cutting them down. Carl Cockless uh, is going ham. He's getting revenge right now. Yeah, charge and kill the rest of these guys who are not running yet. Obviously, their archers are hurting, so reform the line. Our archers should be hammering them back. Well, I am cutting them to pieces. Reform the shield wall, boys. Can we get back on the horse? Do we have any cavalry left? No, their horse archers are just a menace. Can I just do as much damage? Like, even if I just one-hit someone. Or just, like, do a little bit of damage. That's enough, I think. Because then our archers... Can, like, if that 73 is fine, because hopefully an archer can then finish him off. Like a lucky hit. This is a very, very good Dornish army, though. Yeah, just... Bring them down to size a little, you know. There's so many of them. Dismounting them is also more than acceptable. There you go. Reinforcements have arrived. Perfect. Now the archers are really hammering them. Oh, God. Luckily, the AI was not uh, busy there. Yeah, archers are hammering. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I want uh, just... You know, any damage I can do on them is great. Because, yeah, then the archers come through and, uh, yeah, do work. There's still so many of their horse archers left, but a lot less than there were. Yeah, we got 75 cavalry on that flank as well. That's pretty, uh, should be enough. Oh, 
The cool thing is as well, is with the uh, new battle update with the deployment thing, you can actually like set like a, an, uh, you, like a couple groups of spearmen to actually protect your flanks as well, which is really cool. I think it will work way better on the defense than it will on the offense. Go on, hit another tree and die. <laughs> Pretty much clear up now. I've got like no cavalry left. What mods are you playing with right now? If you go over to the Discord, I have my entire mod list right there. What, do real what does realistic battle do? It basically uh, changes how battles work. So units are much more like defensive, I guess. When the two battle lines clash, you'll see uh, instead of just like mindlessly striking, uh, they'll be holding their shields up and like striking a little bit and then defending. It makes battles way better. Uh, no, it may have made that in custom uh, sounds to the to any part. My horse lame. There we go, this one. Can't kill on that one. Yeah, it did have like six arrows coming out of it, so I can't blame it for being slow. Uh, let's push up. Let's get to like here. Archers here. We have 500 infantry on the field, so probably pretty good yeah I, I think I think realistic battle does such a good a good job makes battles just really interesting I can't read your name I can call you Dan okay we'll do I mean bog down that's not anything crazy and how's it going Jeff as well welcome how good of a Dothraki horse is? Uh, I don't think they've really, like, again, like, balancing really isn't a thing that they've, uh, they've spent a lot of time doing. It's more about just getting the assets in. More so than anything else. So, like, that stuff will come later. Get our spear out. We uh, we smash this army. Uh, thank you so much for the ten dollars, James. Uh, Jamie, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Do us a lot of money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ten euros, I should say. Uh, thank you so much, dude. You're a real legend. I really love the Game of Thrones vids. You play it and feel it. I'm into the character itself. Ah, oh, it's awesome to hear, dude. I'm really glad you enjoy the content. And I really appreciate the donation as well, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. There's plenty of uh, really good content coming, so make sure you stick around. Uh, yeah. Got some cool stuff planned. I, I, I personally can't wait until they drop uh, the Carthaginians for the Eagle Rising mod. They look so good. I can't wait to do Life of a Carthaginian. It'll be awesome. As we fight back the Romans, you have the Scythians now. Like, it's just great. And, like, the, the detail, the level of work they've put into the mod it, it's just incredible coffee ginians look like beyond, like i'll show you guys right now because they do look uh just out of this world so this is from the eagle rising mod hold on let me find the discord i'm part of so many so many mountain blade discords um feedback work in progress no uh, yeah this one like look at this Carthaginian armor for this is obviously for the generals it just looks so good like, look at that. Oh, like this is obviously like Hannibal's like, you know, good general armor. It just looks so goddamn good. There's some more shield variants here as well for Carthaginians. I mean, yeah, you can see a little bit more of the actual units as well. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It, it just looks incredible. Like the armor, the detail. More shield variants. You got some helmets now for them. Like Carthage is going to be a juicy faction, for sure. Again, some more different, like, armor variants, helmets. And again, like, you know, they'll constantly add more stuff. And this is the Greek stuff I think they're working on. I believe the Carthaginians will come before the Greeks come. Um, but yeah, this is more of the, the, the Greek faction. Um, but you can see, I mean, it's like some, some Greek bandit armor as well for the bandits. Like, yeah. 
So this would be, be Athenian armor, because there's going to be a, a Macedonian Greek faction, and then there's going to be two city-state factions, which are just one settlement, and it's Greeks and... Sorry, it's Spartans and Athenians. And you can see a bit of them. This is obviously the Spartan armor. Yeah, I mean, it's just insane. They do such a good job with the mod. Um, really impressed. Can't wait. Can't wait for it as well. Uh, hey, dude, finally managed to catch you streaming live. Uh, been watching you for five months. That's awesome, Neil. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy the content. And I'm glad you can make it live. It's always good to see people filtering in. Oh, my God. Look at all these prisoners. 108 upgrades as well. My God. Yeah, I'm really glad. Yeah, I'm really glad you can make it. Well, I'm doing a lot of rings, but uh, nothing. I'm actually making a video at the moment um, about that mod, showing you guys, basically sh telling you guys like everything that's uh, currently in development because they are they are um, dropping more. Uh, they are dropping more screenshots recently, so I'm just gonna compile all of them. And probably uh, grab some screenshots from the awesome uh, guy Macbeth, who who was one of the developers on the mod. He also recently. Well, maybe we take the the frayed. Yeah, I mean that's more horse armor. Um, we'll leave the lame horses here. Yeah, I'll probably. I asked uh, Macbeth if I could take some of the screenshots from his videos uh, to show, and he said it was cool. Obviously, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll point you guys in his. But yeah, he's one of the uh, developers. Wait, why do I have activate windows here? I have windows. What? Let me change that quickly. That's weird. I already just noticed. Did that just pop up? Why do I need to activate windows? I, I reinstalled my motherboard, but I shouldn't change it because my hard drives haven't been changed. How weird. <laughs> Let me just uh, change the game capture quickly so it's not covering my... Has that been there the whole time? Hold on, give me a second. God, I bet you it doesn't work now. Imagine. There we go, cool. Yeah, that's so weird. I I don't know why. I, I bought Windows like five years ago. Um, but yeah, as, as I said, I'll, pr I'll probably be making a video on the Game of Thrones mod. So, uh... So that should be good. Ooh, some Tyrell Cavalry here. Hell yeah. So I'll buy up some more food as well. So cheap as well. Look at all this. This grain is ridiculously cheap. Um, yeah. But yeah, we'll be doing that video probably this week sometime. Um, actually needs to, I actually need to do that video probably tomorrow. Like, record it tomorrow. Because... Um, we're at, oh my, 34k for our prisoners, that's insane. I mean, the worst thing is, I, I did, I did legitimately buy windows, so. <laughs> that's the worst thing, we need to heal up our soldiers once again. Um. God, this is just not like giving me settlements at all. How do you get it, so it's your experience, so it's a perk, it's a, it's a stewardship perk. So yeah, it's this one right here, and it's this one right here. No? No. There's two perks. Yeah, discarding weapons donates increases unit experience, uh, and discarding armors. So you want to pick up both of these, they're really good. Uh, hey, Jackie, if I get a membership, what extra perks do I get? So you get access to the members-only Discord room. You get a banner next to your name. You can see Panther's got one, Anthony's got one. Uh, you get to name companions. For, unfortunately, in this series, um, Distinguished Service isn't working. That's the mob that allows you to uh, name companions. Whenever anyone in my army gets five kills, they become a companion, and then you guys get to name them. Um... The tier 3s and tier 4s get to name actual, like, clan leaders and clans uh, in the in the campaign, um, which is always really awesome because you guys basically get your characters in the game right away. 
Um, and yeah, so that's, that's it. And you, your banner shows up in, in YouTube comments as well, which is cool. But yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend uh, becoming a member just for the names because it's not really working in this campaign. I think this campaign will be ending fairly soon. So, you know. But yeah, you can become a member for as little as $2 uh, and you get a bunch of bonuses for that. Now, I appreciate it. What's my favorite faction in Game of Thrones? Um, I'm not too sure about my favorite faction. I, I really like Oberyn Martell. R.I.P. Oberyn and, and the Dornish were dope, but you don't really get to see much of the, like, the Dornish plot. Like, the Dornish kind of get a bit... Uh, a bit cucked uh, in the... Uh, in the TV series. Like, the Dornish had, like, some elaborate plan. They're backing, uh, Thingy Blackfire. I can't remember his name. A a a is it Aegon Blackfire? Aegon, whoever it is. Like, they're, blacking hit they're backing his invasion. And they've got, like, in the books, it's, like, hinted at that the Dornish have, like, this massive plot. They're just about to come into their own and do. Um, but in the TV series, you get, like, them, uh, them four uh, assassin snakes, whatever they're called, which are really badly done. And just annoying. The Greyjoys, hands down, are the best. Yeah, the Greyjoys, like, Euron Greyjoy is doing bits with his dragon horn and stuff. Gonna go, like, control dragons. Mugger Jackie, don't say such ridiculous things. If you end this series soon, I run naked in the church on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just like, uh, the, you know, we, like, again, these series go on for quite a while. You've got to keep that in mind. Like, what, well, this is episode five or six? And I've been playing, what, four hours, four hours a time? Um, yeah, you know, like, each, each episode is like four hours. So, you know, like, that's 20, 30 plus hours. Oh, we lost Go Golden Grove, really? And we lost High Garden? How the hell are we losing so badly? Oh my god, and we've been absolutely demolished in the north. They took Castamere, Hornvale, Faircastle. Oh no, not good. Uh, we could probably take this though. Oh, it's a big army there, let's avoid that. Um, yeah, like, yeah, we've been playing this campaign like probably 30 hours, and you know, things do get a little bit stale. Like, the late game in Bannerlord isn't great. The best part of Bannerlord is definitely the early game. Early to mid game. So, you know, like, I, I just, it's always good to keep things fresh so you guys don't get bored. Oh, look at that upgrade. Perfect. We'll take all the Graphian infantry. Uh, we need to, like, get in here and, and oh my god, so much tier six. But it's not like it's going to be, like, the, the only time this mod's on the channel. For sure, we'll do more. Oh, don't worry about that. The channel will constantly. Yeah, the sand snakes. You're right, Victor. Oh, wait, that's such a good song. Literally the best song. I believe hell on their Discord they have a link to a Google Drive maybe, but I'm not sure if that's only for Patreons. But yeah, I know it's, it's quite a big fault file, isn't it? I mean, we got right by the Riverlands. But yeah, let's do it. Defiant. 
Oh, yeah, I did, Anthony. Cannot wait. Really, really looking forward to uh, Space Marine 2. Looks juicy. Oh, you guys also see as well on Twitter, they posted uh, the new the new Tau Codex. Can't wait. Did I... I replied to it, right? Yeah. Please reply. Did you guys see over on Twitter, they posted the, new, the picture of the new Tau Codex. Please give it to me early. Oh my God, please. Looks juicy. I, I have not played Tau in, I don't know, in a long, long time. Or whatsoever. And I can't wait. Good rules. Also, who's telling me to turn down the music, Asuka? This is Divinitus, the best Rome Dotto War song. Oh, there, Blair. Now turn it up. Absolutely incredible. Who cannot like that song? So that's our army's looking. So we have a decent amount of men again. Um, cool. May. Maybe we should go independent now. We could probably have another son or someone else leave an army, right? Yeah. I don't... Let's maybe send Victoria. Victoria isn't exactly a great uh, commander, but it's fine. Because, yeah, I probably want to maybe go independent. So we have 2.8 million. So maybe we'll head that way. Go up a couple more soldiers where we can. Yeah, but maybe we'll come and take this. Like, this is probably... Like, Pike is probably the place we start our, our empire. When's the Game of Thrones one coming for CK3? I'm not sure, but I, I can't wait for it. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Really looking forward to that. That and the uh, the Elder Scrolls one looks amazing as well. Uh, just the look of the Nids in the trailer. Oh my god, one is so bad. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, it's such a well-regarded game as well. People absolutely love, um, love the first one. I, have, I don't think I really played it much, the first one, if I'm honest. I remember playing it vaguely, but I was more of a, uh, a fire warrior guy instead of space marines. But maybe I'll have to give it a go. I remember people say it still holds up. And you get some really cool mods as well. I might try and get like a salamanders mod, which would be cool to make all the brother, brother captains into salamanders and stuff. As I do collect salamanders. But yeah, I can't wait for it. You're heading off now, Amon? Alright, see you later, dude. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good rest of your day. Or night. I guess have a good sleep. Hey, thank you, Panther. I appreciate you using my link. Yeah, if you guys are interested in pre-ordering Warhammer free, you can do so using my link just above. Um, it's done directly through Creative Assembly. So it's a big help to the channel. Um, and they get a bigger, like, Creative Assembly get a bigger cut, and so do I, and they just give you, they automatically give you, or, like, it's immediately they give you a Steam key or an Epic Games key, depending on what you bought it for. Um, so it's a great, great time to 
uh, just check out the game. And obviously, you have to do it right now. The game doesn't come out for a little while. So if you are planning on doing it a little bit later on down the late, like down the ways, closer to launch in February, then uh, then you can just do it, you know, when the time comes, if you are planning on doing it. And it's a big help. And again, it's done directly through Creative Assembly, uh, which is awesome. I appreciate everybody who used my link. Uh, who did you buy the second one for, Panther? I, there, well, there is. There is a, a mod in development. I haven't really heard much of it recently. Um, but yeah, there is a Bannerlord mod currently in the works. Let me add that axe. There we go. It's like a... It's like the Siege of Varak, I think it's called. And hopefully it's going to be kind of cool. We'll have to see it again. I think a lot of mods, you know, start out and it's whether or not they actually go to, you know, actually finish, you know. This is the main thing. It's like, does the mod actually get finished? Hopefully, though. Oh, headshot. Uh, what is the mod that lets you rush like that? Rush like what? You mean in the campaign map? Uh, it's called Better Time. And you can basically adjust how fast you have stuff go. <laughs> Give you a Titan. That'd be incredible. Oh no, I'm fighting it on Sully with a spear. Oh my god. Absolutely wrecked me. How am I supposed to beat Carl Cockless with his favorite weapon? I've hit him like five times. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, we stood no chance there. No in battle? Uh, RCS camera. I mean, Cole earned that one, so. Yeah, well, there is a there is a Lord of the Rings mod in development. It's called King Nevada, and it, hopefully it's going to be awesome. Let everybody get up to decently full strength. We had another child. Oh my god. How can she even uh, survive? Uh, yeah, and let's just go independent. Screw it. We have lots of money. Um, oh, we're in an army, so we can't. That's fine. Um, and then yeah, let's upgrade everybody. And let's storm Pike, I guess. Cool. That's done. Uh, now let's leave. Uh, relinquish all my holdings. Now let's start our own kingdom. Um, and then Castle Char is good. Royal Guard's good. And Law Speaker and Cantons. Oh, we can just do everything? <laughs> Seems a bit OP. What should we call the kingdom? What should the kingdom be called? Got to think of a good name. The best way to support the channel, Amon, is literally just by dropping a like, watching the videos, uh, commenting, talking in chat. All that stuff is a great way and it's completely free. Nobody ever has to donate to the channel. Uh, 
Uh, it's completely free. Hey, hey, thank you so much, Happy Gamer, for becoming a brand new member, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you explain your mark member in chat and obviously connect up your YouTube and your Discord. Welcome to the kingdom, my friend. Arrakis? <laughs> sure, we'll call it Arrakis. As Doom was a amazing movie. There we go, the kingdom of Arrakis. And we will forge an army quickly. Uh, and I guess we'll... Wait, why is Marjorie Tyrell part of the Lannisters? <laughs> well, Marjorie, I am afraid your time has come. I am here to deliver my demands. Yield or fight, Marjorie. Your time has come. Edward, move! For forward! Ooh, why is my FPS so bad? In charge! <laughs> oh, my bad, Jamie. However, I would not be uh, bought that easily. Oh, there's some cavalry over there. Let's go say hello. You might get Men of War. Yeah, Men of War Assault Squads is a, a pretty good game. Hey, thank you so much to Born as well for the two dollars, man, or two euros. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Let me s smite you. I'm gonna escape as well. Look at my battle line. Holy fuck! A lot of men. Uh, oh, I did not even realize that was a thing. That would pop up saying someone used my code. Uh, what? Who? I can't see who did it. Was that you, Panther, or was that someone else? Either, either way, I really appreciate whoever used it. I didn't realize it popped up on stream. That's hilarious. But thank you so much for using the uh, my code in the content creator. I guess my energy just like storms across here. Oh, I missed, come on. Uh, it just popped up on screen saying someone used my uh my link in the uh creator in the um oh, my cavalry's storming in. I uh, used my uh, my code to pre-order Warhammer. And I really appreciate it. Whoever did use it. I think it said it's non anonymous. For some reason it hasn't popped up in my stream lab, so I'm actually not too sure. I mean, this is a, a storm. Lay him down, boys. Uh, yeah, there's a new Men of War game coming out next year. Should be good. So here we go, guys. We're starting our brand new kingdom. Oh, we got two companions. Hell yeah. 
Okay, guys, first members in chat to go ahead and call dibs. We'll go ahead and claim these companions. Also, thank you so much, Dragonborn, for another five euros, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Obviously, if you already have a character, don't call dibs. Um, because that's not cool. Uh, and these are just going to the members right now. However, if none of the other members claim it, then whoever who isn't a member called it can have it. Uh, Anthony, go ahead and give me a name, my friend, and I will get you in the game. Pretty clean battle. Plenty of prisoners. Plenty of upgrades as well. I mean, our army has some pretty gnarly units. Uh, I always like the Ironborn armor. I think it looks really cool. I get, I get 800 men inside Pike. It's not going to be an easy battle. Uh, I mean, we leveled up again, which is nice. I guess we'll stick another point in leadership. Uh, maybe another focus point. It's two-handed. For even bigger... <laughs> so, wait, is that the entire name? I don't know if it will fit Anthony, but we'll try. There you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we still have one more left, so if there are any members... Actually, okay, whatever. Even if you don't have a companion, first member... To... So even if you already have, like, a lord, first member to call dibs can, can take it. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's members only, unfortunately, Neil. This is a way of me saying thank you to the members for constant support. We are going to make just full on... We're going to make some breaches for sure. Cool. Get the siege towers up now. Oh, we don't need the siege towers. We could probably make them a ram as well. Make us a breach or two, please. This is going to be a hard battle. We're actually just gaining men as well. What the hell? Um. Oh, can I change him to actually be a mountain? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much, Dragonfall. We're going a brand new member, man. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, let's drop a save. And it's prepared to prepare to breach. Any upgrades first? And dibs? Okay, awesome. Yeah, go for it, I'm uh Dragonborn. Give me a name. And we'll get you in. There's all the upgrades. I'll take the one Ironborn recruit. Why not? And here we go. I mean, we outnumber them a lot, but we're still fighting. We've got Balon, Greyjoy, and Victorion in here. Uh, if you give me a name quickly, Dragonborn, and I'll get you in. Just Dragon? Okay, cool. We'll do. Uh, cool. And then you can probably end up dying <laughs> in the first battle. <laughs> D rank, because apparently I have Capricorn. That'll be fine for now. I okay, guess leave the assault, boys. Here we go. The battle for our kingdom is here. The walls are destroyed, so it should be a, a straight shot. Well, it's this settlement as well. This is actually a good settlement to attack. Oh no. Ah. No, this is one of the lower tier settlements, because normally it has like a bit of way out here. Yeah, this one shouldn't be too bad. 
Brave men attack! Oh my god, look at the archers up on the walls. We should be able to destroy these guys. Where are our archers? Our archers should be demolishing them on these walls. God, don't want to die. Yeah, we've just got full on archers up here. What are they doing? Our archers should be absolutely cutting them through. Go, go, go. Break your asses through this goddamn breach. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Ow, Jack, I just did so. I did 100 damage to me. Oh my god. Push. Push, clear out the walls. Oh, I'm playing as one of you guys right now. I'm not sure if I'm playing as Mountain or Dragon. I assume Mountain because I'm fucking massive and I just died immediately. Now I think I'm playing as Dragon. That battering ram needs to get up there. Can I like, jump up here, maybe? Seems like a pretty easy way to assault the settlement. No, I can't. Can't believe I literally just got one shot of the hair as well. I guess I was probably a little bit wounded to begin with anyway. We've lost 400. They've lost 400. Pretty even so far. Oh, but we have the, the best weapon in the game. A rock. Wait, are you friend or foe? Kill that guy. We've taken the walls, it seems. Let me get to the rocks. Uh, does this mod increase the soldiers? No. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He docked it. I uh, know. This is just a thousand men on the field. Oh, it increases, like, the size overall, but not in the battle specifically. That makes sense. Well, oh, this place has been absolutely ruined up here. Look at the battle unfolding down here. The men pour in. Leave me alone. Oh my god, he could snipe me through there. Break through. I mean, we're, we've lost more men, but we have like 500 men extra than them, so. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm also kind of annoyed that our uh, soldiers aren't coming through a battering ram at all. Like, open up another breach, boys. Yeah, come and come over here, boys. Come destroy this gate. So the archers should be coming over now to help out. Yeah, got some archers coming over now. We break through this gate, it's over. Archers, come on. Get your asses in here. Fucking... Open up, please. Oh, God, the gates are open. Let me close. Let me in. Chop it down, boys. Chop it down. Oh, it looks like we've already broke. <laughs> it looks like we've already won the battle. 
Oh, a bunch of upgrades as well. I don't know why it's automatically now working. Okay, two more companions. If there are any more members in the chat who want a companion named after them, go ahead and drop a like. Uh, go ahead and drop a like. Of course you should be liking. Go ahead and call dibs right now. Don't know why all of a sudden it started to work. So funny. Uh, and then come back. If there are no members, we'll give it up to everybody else as well. Yeah. If there aren't any members, uh, then we can do that. Okay, did you guys die? No, you guys survived. Dragon got seven kills. D Rang got seven kills. Cole didn't get a single one. Neither did uh, the mountain, but you didn't die. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Adam. Give me a name and we will uh, get, uh, get yourself named after him. Uh, yeah, you're my prisoner now. Balon, you're my prisoner. You guys will rot in the dungeon. Ah, uh, cool. Oh my god, that bow is insane. 10 grand for that bow. Um, anything else really good that I should really care about? Not really. Take the food, of course. Take that. Uh, or show mercy. Keep the settlement as, as upgraded as possible. Yeah, go ahead and give me a name, Adam. And there you go. Boom, our first settlement. Now, this is like the easiest part. Taking this is like... Really easy. I guess next we can maybe pick on the twins, because the twins are also independent. So we can fight the twins and take that, which will be quite nice. House Malisters of us part of Riverlands. Yeah, so I think the twins are going to be our next person. And then probably execute Balan. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Um, let me just upgrade our men as well. So many upgrades. Boom. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're not going to be happy with us, but we can definitely do it. How badass I look as well. Free so many wounded. How's it going, Balan? And then we'll stick Victorion... In our uh, in our dungeon. Look, we have six hundred ironborn in our prison. My God. And um, we leveled up. No, someone else did. Okay, that's fine. Measured automatically. Uh, sort itself out. Hello. You guys want to see the monstrous a puppy now? She's so big. Here she is, the pup. She's like that. Has she been asleep? She went to the, uh, the vet today and was very good. You can now finally go out for walks now. Here she is. Here she is. Oh, she likes that. This is what you guys really watch for. Hello. Hello. Alright. Away with you now. Maybe be a demon dog somewhere else. Oh my god, in that entire time, we're still gaining minus uh, 50 relations with everybody. It's such a dumb mechanic when you execute someone. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, we need to like rebuild the army. And leave a garrison here and everything else. Oh. There's also some of these other armies here as well. <laughs> Glad you guys like the puppy. Oh my god, we actually need 300 men. We can't fight this. We are... Yeah, I mean, we have so many, so much wounded. Glad you guys like the puppy. So yeah, the kingdom has been. I mean, maybe we, maybe we will. Oh god, you guys can't even see this. Sorry. Uh, maybe we will. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see where we are at the end of this week. 
Uh, oh, yeah, we need to do uh, Adam's character as well. Let's do that. So beefy. Boom. And yeah, sure. Okay, any non-members in the chat who want a first non-member to go ahead and call dibs will be able to, uh, be able to claim themselves a companion. Uh, and it was Gift. Gift was like immediately. Yeah, it was Gifts. So uh, yeah, go ahead and give me uh, a name and uh, I will get you in. I think Gift just accidentally uh, put dibs at the perfect time. Uh, no, you didn't, Neil. You did not, I'm afraid. We should put a governor here as we have so many. Um, I guess just our son. Yeah, well, I, uh, I do it on, um, I, uh, I don't do it on, um, I don't do it on your screen. I do it on my screen, obviously, <laughs> but I really will get one next time, Neil. Uh, no, you actually got seven kills, Dragon, so impressive. Also, thank you so much, Pamper, for five dollars, dude. I really appreciate that. You demand puppy ASMR. It'll just be her biting me 24-7. Jacques the Fishos. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully they don't die. Boom. How's Warhammer not been made into a TV series? Well, it's not really very mainstream. Like, Warhammer is pretty niche. Um, honestly, like, it's not really a very mainstream thing. We're still just waiting for all our, our soldiers to heal. And we need to deal with these guys. And then move on. Yeah, like, Warhammer's not exactly a, a, a very mainstream thing. I mean, the past couple of years, it, it's got become a lot more with, like, lockdown and stuff. Okay, Reese Bolton's declared war on us. Can we get any, can we get any non-aggressions or alliances of anybody? No. Okay, good. I should probably maybe try and marry into Tywin's house. Can I send him a message? I can't, right? Okay. Yeah, they're making a TV series as we speak. Uh, I believe. Yeah, I mean, they're investing a lot. Like, they made like 150 million pounds last year. Uh, 40k. 40k is way more main. So, if they're going to do anything, it would be with 40k. Because 40k is... Um, 40k is more mainstream than fantasy. For sure. Okay, let's just smash this 80 man army quickly. We have 900 men now. Oh, you got, they got away. Fuck. We try and like trap them. There you go. We can definitely trap this army. We need to kind of capture all the bolts. I mean, we could just make peace of them as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, got him. No. So hard to click around here. Well, Reese Bowen's coming for us, so we'll have to worry about that. Well, yeah, I mean, that's fine. We can go and take, uh, we can go and take the Dreadfort. The Dreadfort doesn't exist anymore. God damn. You think fantasies pre uh pre end times is much better uh, i mean i just cheated there i just cheated and i didn't even like i mean i'm gonna roll with it but i just didn't i just like completely blankly were like yeah fuck it let's just teleport and kill him <laughs> i apologize uh yeah i mean it's interesting i mean they're kind of the same essence right humanity are up against it like humanity are up against the hordes of hell kind of the same in both really uh, cavalry. Yeah, just go over Take tanks. over command. Is this mod worth downloading? Yeah, it's really good. For sure, Joe. And how's it going, man? Obviously, Henry Cavill's uh, been quite vocal about his love for uh, for Warhammer as well recently, which is pretty dope. Obviously, he's such a, a high uh, a high profile. Uh, person. Getting out now, Panther. Uh, see you later, man. And thank you so much for using my link when uh, buying Warhammer free. I really appreciate that.
Oh, we have some cavalry. Okay. Hello, Ironborn horses. What are you guys up to? Not really. I re realize they had so much cavalry. Oh, they don't really have much cavalry, but they have some. Oh. And I can't ask more than a, I can't ask more from like I did a hundred damage to that guy. Yeah, there was that that thing a long time ago. It was like you know Warhammer Fantasy is just a a planet inside. Uh, inside of the 40k universe. I actually haven't watched the original um, Witcher series. Please tell me you're fighting for your one true king. I am fighting for one true king. The one true king, Montinius Uricus. As we are, are an independent kingdom. Give him hell, boys. Oh, did so much damage. Hey, thank you so much, Cerberus, for becoming a brand new member, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks for the exclamation mark member in the chat to see all your bonuses. Join the Discord. Get that bad boy connected up so you can see the private Discord room. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. It's worth the watch, yeah? I just... Yeah, I haven't got around to watch. I don't even watch much TV. Um, so... Definitely will at some point. Oh my god, look at the hordes of our soldiers! Look how many men we have! Also, the, uh, the armor for the Bullsack people were absolutely awful. The Nilfgaardians. The, uh, the, the custom design for that faction looked absolutely awful. I just 80 men there. Wow. It's not good. 45 dead from this little skirmish. Uh, I guess you're my prisoner. We'll just stick you in my prison. We'll take all the extra troops just to boost our numbers. At this point, I don't really care what's in my army, as long as it's uh, as long as it can fight. <laughs> it can be in the army. Take more cavalry. We have like a pretty elite force. So we have a lot of like very good soldiers. Glenn, Glenn died. One of my sons. No, I mean, we have plenty to replace him, but even still. Glenn, no. Now Uricus's party is just going to roam. I mean, at least he goes back into the garrison, I guess. Which is fine. So now the garrison here is a little bit scarier. Our first casualty I didn't even see. Um, yeah, it's a new party. Uh, maybe let's send out Mon uh, Mo Mountain to do it. And we'll give him some soldiers as well. Why not? Some archers as well. Nothing too good though. Have some tier three archers. Some cavalry, some ironborn, sure. I think that's a hundred men. Yeah, no snowflakes. They really ramp up the size of armies in this mod. Yeah, at least the garrison here is uh, pretty, pretty gnarly now. Well, I appreciate that, Cerberus. I'm glad you enjoyed the content enough to, to support. Uh, so we should just try and make peace with the Ironborn. Like, I mean, we'd pay them money, but we're making so much cash. It doesn't really matter. Like, yeah, sure. Yeah, House Bolt, Bolt and I don't really care about. They're at war with everybody. 
So yeah. So cool. We're we're at peace now with the with the Greyjoys, meaning my land should not be harassed as much. And I can actually might as well just let everybody roam free quickly. So yeah, let's disband the army. And let's go to King's Landing to fill up our army on more more of the elite soldiers. And everybody else can go off and recruit as well. And then we'll go to war with the phrase, I guess. Yeah, we'll let them. Actually, no, it'd be actually not a bad idea to go and recruit some soldiers from the Riverlands, actually, because they have really good archers. I feel like that's something we're, we're lacking from our army. Um, so, yeah, let's go at, to River Run. Let's just recruit some, as many more soldiers as we can as we head our way down to King's Landing. What's our army currently consisting of right now? What do we have? So, we have 135 cavalry, 200. I mean, actually, we've got a pretty good balance of. Uh, of soldiers, to be honest. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to scrap some more. Can we recruit some more Unsullied? Yeah, we definitely can. Yeah, I, hopefully I have time to do that. Because it's like quite a far distance away. We'll go to King's Landing, we'll recruit some King Guard. And then we'll go recruit some Unsullied. As I said, it'd be really, really cool... If there was like a mechanic in the game where you go and like buy a, like a hundred Unsullied or something, you know? Like you go and basically buy a ton of them. With like a, with like a slave driver or a mercenary person. Like you go and buy like, okay, I want a hundred Golden Company. And they're like, okay, come back in a week and we'll have this many for you. And it will cost you a ton of money. That'd be really cool. Are the Unsullied OP? I wouldn't say they're OP. But they're definitely good. They're definitely good. Can't believe Glenn died. You will be missed, Glenn. Uh, who's stealing all my Unsullied? Ah, screw it. We'll just go over and get some Unsullied. Oh, what's the max number of soldiers in your army? It's like 600 and something. I believe. These Baratheons. Yeah, I'll we'll take them. Uh, not too sure. They're doing a lot more of uh, Essos stuff as we speak. Uh, cool. Yeah, we're doing a lot more Essos stuff. Uh, should we can just get a uh, boat ride to Essos? Uh, go to docks, sail to another town. Pentos? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe Bravos is getting a, a new roster in the next update, which will be cool. It's like a lot more soldiers. So that should be good. Cool. Okay, now over in Dependos. What type of soldiers do you have? Just Targaryen units. Targaryen infantry. I mean, still very good soldiers, but... Eh, we'll take one or two. I believe the Unsullied are a little bit more north. Well, I mean, we'll take these Targaryens as well. Why not? Maybe, is Daenerys married? Maybe we'll see if one of our sons can marry Daenerys. Where is she? Up here? No, she's... Oh my god. The Targaryens have been absolutely smashed in this. Yeah, the three cities have absolutely demolished the Targaryens. The Targary Targaryens don't have anything left. There's Sir Lancelot. <laughs> if Lancelot's still here. Um... Love the Targaryen. Maybe we should try and marry into yeah, maybe we should try and marry Daenerys. There she is. Hello, Daenerys. Are you married yet? Uh something I'd like to discuss. Can't steal her that way. Can I like get your hand in marriage at all? I don't think so. Just do this, make you like me a little bit. Have 200 k Just give her 200 k and she likes me plus four. What a joke. I need to find Viserys. I don't know where he is. Uh, Viserys. Viserys? He was last seen in the north. Okay. God, the Targaryens have been absolutely demolished. There's Sir Arthur Dane. It's Kazites. 
You guys are in the wrong neighborhood. There's Damon Blackfire. Our game recruits will take them, why not? You call dibs on ye grit. Um Sande is there as well. Oh, Viserys is all the way over here. Wait, bro. Whoa. Oh, my God. Essos have invaded. I never even saw that. When? Since when did that happen? Oh, my God. We are being invaded by the East. They've taken a strong song. I assume this. they've taken Snakewood and now they're sieging the Eerie. That is not good. The series was last seen over here, though, so we're just gonna TP. Was he is he still over here? Bunch of Andal soldiers, which are whatever. Hey, how's it going, Van? How you doing? Where is the series? That's all I wanna know. I'm gonna marry your sister. The series Targaryen. Last seen here, so he must be around here somewhere. Sallies. Know where he is? Says he's over here. You thought I was gonna kill you, Lancelot? No, I could never do that to you. Where the hell is he? The area's no longer under siege, which I guess is good. They did take Snakewood though. Nah, it's crazy. He's in prison there? Oh, really? You're probably right. No, not in the prison either. He's a prisoner? I don't think so. Oh, look, I'm Daenerys Targaryen. Oh, don't mind me. Yeah, there's no one in these prisons. Um, yeah, last scene here. He's been freed because peace was declared. I'm a winter of the 18th. It's not in the keep either. And he's still in his own independent faction as well. Right, he's not in this army. Nope. Is he maybe a prisoner of this army? Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll find him at some point. But for now, let's go back to recruit. I think Unsullied come from here? No. Unsullied is somewhere around here. Yeah, here they are. So we just wait here quickly and we'll recruit from this down. Uh, the modders are unbelievable. They've updated a lot of mods for 1.7 in just three days. Yeah, no, modders are amazing. No. Who's this? Someone good? Oh, Jorah Mormon's declared a war on us. <laughs> Leader of a Night's Watch. So yeah, I think what we're going to do next is we're going to go to war with the, uh, with the Unsullied, not with the Unsullied, with the, the, twins because they're an independent faction so we're gonna go to war with them next oh there's Daenerys there's Viserys perfect he came to me hello Viserys how's it going let me marry you um the hand of little Chad so we marry I don't want to marry her though I want to marry Daenerys For sure I'll marry everybody in until we get Daenerys Oh, we could marry Viserys himself, which we don't want to do. With Daenerys, okay. Boom. Oh, he's just, he's just giving me Daenerys. Perfect. Okay. Well, the mothers of dragons are now married. Welcome to the family, Daenerys. Wait, did... Yeah, cool. So, there she is. 
Venerus Targaryen, mother, mother of dragons. Uh, we should probably go and get her into- is she in here still? Or did she leave? Probably went to my settlement, yeah. Now we can bring her into our army as well, which is good. Get some more Unsullied. So there's another one we can also recruit, we can just go back and forth. And where? To mill to mil here. Okay, yeah, so there's the Unsullied, so we just go back and forth between these two. As I say, it'd be such a cool feature if they just had something that allowed us to like just buy in bulk a bunch of unsullied, you know, just like a hundred. How many wives do you have? I only have one wife, Era Hightower. But we have we have plenty of other sons with uh, with daughters now. Uh, I don't think there's a Dothraki unitary or yeah, I don't think so. Okay, that'll probably be enough. Let's head back and get ready for war. Yeah, there we go. That's plenty. Oh, yeah. These are the Essos ones. <laughs> the Khan's guard. Uh, cool. Let's head back now. And let's go to war. Is my wife dead? No, Ira's, uh, Ira's alive and kicking. Cool, let's head back. So we'll head back to here. We'll build up our army. And then war with the twins. So this this war will be much more difficult. For sure. Because they're just way stronger. And we'll recruit as much of the elite soldiers as we can. Sorry, my nose has just gone really itchy. When it gets really hot in my office, it, I, I, it tends to happen. Who's uh, sieging this? Oh. Yeah, Essos are truly, like, invading. A big old battle there, though. I mean, the Vale aren't going down without a fight. Supported by the Riverlands. Cool, let's go. Uh, let's go back to, uh, to Pike, then. Because, yeah, the twins were right there. How many men do they have? They also have high castle. They have 1,800 men, so... They could probably field more, so... It's not going to be an easy battle, for sure. But we will try. Cool. How's everybody looking? Okay, I mean, they could definitely do with more soldiers. It's fine. Uh, yeah, mod is completely available for everybody to play. There's Theon Greyjoy right there. Uh, they already recruit a bunch of people. That's fine. You got our son in there. Give some money as well. Uh, yeah, just upgrade the training fields and then the aqueducts and the marketplace, please. Um, so done that, done that. Keep, yeah, let's get Danny into our army, sure. Let's wait. Let these gal guys and gals recruit some more soldiers. And then war. Jackie, how do you think about the TV end of Game of Thrones? Was the ending lazy? Yeah, it was awful. It sucked so much. It'll probably go down as one of the worst TV series in history. Or like one of the worst things to end. Like, it was just awful. From like this really well-crafted, like, plots and like, logical decisions by characters to just an absolute mess to get through it. And wrap it up. So, do we just inherit something? I said inherited. I don't think so. We only have one settlement. Cool. How many men do the twins have? That is the question. How many men do the twins have? 
House Frey. 5,000 men. Oh, they got lake rats on their side as well in two houses. Okay. That's fine. That is fine, I guess. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be an easy fight, that is for sure. But if we smash our army, like, convincingly, which I think we can do. As I said, our army's pretty decent. Then we can just push on. And, like, maybe take the car. Like, I imagine a lot of that is probably their castle as well. Uh, increase morale during sieges and defenses. More experience, I think. What would be really cool is if we were playing on 1.7 and we could use the new terrain feature. That would be so cool. Like we could actually fight them in this, like, narrow swamp. That would be amazing, right? Okay, let's do it. We have 1,800 men. I can't ask for anything more. Let's go. Uh, the cart mod's still just very much a work in progress. It's uh, going to take ages for it to come out because it's obviously a complicated thing. Okay, and we can take out uh, one of my... Uh... Yeah, we can take out this high tower. She's part of the twins. Um... You join me? Okay. okay, let the war begin. We will do the first strike. Set up here. Are we like in a oh, we're in a village? What the hell? Just set up our line. We have so much infantry. My god. I mean I guess we'll bypass the village. Uh do I like this model or Eagle Rising better? Uh, I don't know. It's not really like a I think they're very two very different mods. Uh, but I think that they're my two favorite mods for Bannerlord, for sure. Uh, I can't wait for the new, uh, uh, the new Eagle Rising update. The, uh, the Carthaginian one. It's gonna be absolutely epic. But if only we were playing like a Napoleonic mob, we could like set up a gun line here and just like fire down with this as our cover. Not that arrows apparently are just homing. Just like can hit me like that. My archer's shooting. We have so much infantry. Look at it all. Bring up our infantry again. Archers can get a little closer as well. Cavalry's already charging the front line, so... Because that's fine. Giving us time elsewhere. Infantry, get your ass up here like yesterday. Seriously, boys. We are taking a pounding right now. The archers are starting to do their work now, but we still need way more of you guys up here. I'm peppered with arrows. I, mean, I tell you, it would be amazing if we could bullet for twins before they could even like react. Like, we just seize the twins out immediately. But I think they are also at war with someone else as well. Friendly. I mean, we just outnumber them so heavily. We lost, what, 57 men? I guess that's worth it. How many dead? 28 dead. That's fine. You asked me, John was an overall hero, but he was denied the fight with the Night King. Yeah, I mean, that was just like, it was just a very rust. Like, the Battle of Winterfell really sucked. Like, you saw the characters die like seven times, and that's just not what Game of Thrones is about. Like, you see a character die, they die. It's not like there's some of this bullshit, like, plot armor. 
thing that's like in so many other shows. And that's what made Game of Thrones amazing. The character put themselves in a stupid situation and they died because of it. They died, you know, they didn't just get bailed out for no reason. And, you know, that's like when I, when I saw Battle of, Battle of Winterfell looked amazing, but this, the plot line was just utter shit. Like, how cool would it have been? You know, like, that, you know, all the heroes make it back, like, that generic, like, all the heroes make it back to the Godswood and they're surrounding Bran as he's, like, as he's, like, passed out doing his thing. Um, and, like, all the heroes are around them, like, all nine of them or something, and they're just, like, they're there fighting and they all match off against the Night King and the other, like, the other actual proper White Walkers, not the zombies, and they're all, like, 1v1-ing, um... And then all of a sudden, Bran comes in as, like, con controlling one of the dragons, burning all the zombies away. And, like, Jon gets his jewel. Everybody gets their, like, kind of showdown. Maybe a couple of them die. Like, how much cooler would that have been? Instead of Theon just charging into his death for no reason. Bran doing literally nothing. And the, the, the show never explains what Bran was actually doing. During that entire thing, it was like, ah, peace out. Wake me up when it's over. I mean, I guess because he knew what was going to happen, it was like, oh, there's no point because I might as well just have a nap because I already know what's going to happen because I'm Bran, the three-eyed raven. So what's the point? But, like, that would have been so much cooler. Again, like, still, whatever, very cliche. But, like, that could have been so cool, just having everybody, you know, defending Bran in a circle, all facing off against the White Walkers. John gets his show down. Bram walks into a goddamn dragon. You know, like, that would have been dope. Like, again, that's so cliche, but, like, just do it. But, yeah. It just, uh, yeah. They just were very lazy. The time was definitely not taken. Uh, you know my prison now? So, basically, so you can't raise an army against me. Anyway, let's not, let's not get too, uh, too, uh, sucked in. Because I could talk about that all day. <laughs> I'm sure you guys want to see some conquering. Uh, actually, I want to tell you hunters. Yeah, I want to improve my archer force, actually. My archers are really great, so maybe we'll start getting a few more. Um, yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool, so we still have 1,700 men, which is nice. We'll recruit that. How many soldiers do the twins have? Because I think the twins are also fighting someone else, right? They're fighting... No, they're not. Okay. It's fine, then. How many how many men do they have here? Because we'll probably end up fighting a thousand men defending. I mean, with a, with a siege tower or two, I mean, with a with a breach or two, we could definitely do this. We just need to be watch out for their main army. We've seen their main army, you know, somewhere as well. It's World of Frey right there. Any new companions? Yeah, we've had a few. Obviously, you guys would see them. They'll, they'll pop up when uh, when I get some. Oh, they're sieging my land. Okay, so we need to... They're sieging mine and I'm sieging them. Okay. So we need to check what the garrison's like at our castle. If, if they're attacking. So where is it? Like, here? Thieves? It's got 481 defenders. We need to check that. Obviously, we need to make breaches here if we're, we're planning on taking this. Yeah, we do need to be quick. Because they're probably sieging us at the same time. So, we just need to make sure the garrison isn't getting... Yeah, I mean, we've got a 600-man garrison, so it should be fine. They should be able to hold off for a while. Hopefully they can hold us off until we make some breaches. God, the twins are tanky. Cool. That's that done. Boom. Cool. I think that's I think that's all we can do, right? It is time to uh prepare the assault. So after we've done this, then we need to start trying to convince people to join us. We need more clans, more soldiers, if we want to take on anybody else. Because other wars are going to be very difficult to fight. 
Oh, come on. Just as we were about to fight a siege battle. Hopefully my save wasn't that far back. I haven't personally saved it, but it might have auto-saved. Give me a second. The game will load back up momentarily. Uh, okay, you guys can't see this one second. I think I need to adjust uh, what you guys are seeing. Boom, and then boom. Switch it back on and off again. There we go, boom. Cool. Uh, 802, so four minutes ago. Hopefully when we just started sieging. Probably just after the battle, actually, which is fine. Yeah, it was a rough end to the season for sure. Oh, oh, oh my god, as well. Yeah, let's just TP over here and do it. Also, how stupid was it as well? Like when Tyrion walked up to the walls and Cersei let him live. Like, oh my god, how brain dead is that? Oh my god, they attacked me? Oh my god, I was not paying attention. How many men do they have? Oh, okay, this is a battle. We can fight this. Hell yeah, let's do it. So this, I guess this army that went to go siege me is now here. Okay. Oh, it's an awful map for us. How far back's the... Uh, yeah, okay. Probably like just defend here. How much cavalry do they have? 50. Okay, that's fine. Uh, defend over here. I mean, the thing is, we can't go too far away because our reinforcements spawn here. So I don't want to go really far away because I need my reinforcements. I mean, this is a scary battle for sure. We just need to have like a 300 man advantage and we'll be good. Like a 300 kill advantage and we win. We shouldn't be too hard. We're defending, right? So. Like defender's advantage in this game is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, hello, boys. I like leave them really far away from the battle. Chase me, boys. Oh, good shot. No, don't kill me! I'm sorry! And flee as well, the cowards. I killed that one soldier and now they're running away. Yeah, I think Sansa ruling the north made complete sense. Really, she's the only, like, eligible heir left remaining and she really you know just like her arc was quite good actually honestly she's like been molded and corrupted and you know kind of taught about how to become a leader from like the worst people in, in Westeros Joffrey uh, Littlefinger you know they, they did what they did to survive How about one shotting more people? If only this axe was like a little bit longer. That'd be the dream. Because their cavalry is going to run all over me. We just don't have enough on the field. I thought we can do what we can. We'll do what, you know, we can do our best. is my cavalry okay cavalry just get back that's being stupid let him come 
bring them in the close line. We're getting hit by their archer line right now, which is just so stupid. Let them come to us and our archers hit them. Like, they attacked us at the end of the day, so... This is my favorite Game of Thrones character. Probably Oberyn Martell. I think Oberyn was an absolute monster. Oh my god, there's a lot of missiles. They have so many archers. We're going to start losing men. What the hell do I do? Charge my cavalry on them? Holy fuck, and we'll fight in the shade. I don't really know what to do here. Like, charge my cavalry in, I guess? I mean, I guess advance, but it's not like they're close. We're gonna get cut to pieces here. Oh my god, they have so many archers! They have over 200 archers! Like, what the fuck are we supposed to do against that? And my infantry immediately break formation. Uh, like, hello? <laughs> I mean, I should have seen that. This game is so stupid. Yeah, we're, re we're reloading that. That is beyond stupid. We're reloading that. <laughs> My god, 200 archers out of the possible. It's like they had like their army was like three quarters archers, it was 280 as well. Okay, attack me again, boys. I dare you. I will hold the line. Chillable and charge? Does it not? No, did you see how slow? We were getting absolutely massacred there. It wasn't even close. Cool. Oh, I actually have less men this time. Nice. We got absolutely cut to pieces. Again, if they have a stupid amount of archers. Yeah, 270. Okay. So we need to hide behind a hill. Like hide here, I guess. Or hide like here. Yeah, hide like here. We'll let them come. Sorry, the FPS is fucking awful. I mean, we can actually just hide here. And just charge when they get over the hill. Board here's cameras and Cabana Boys mod. Uh, works fine for me. Uh, I pretty much have already married off all my children. Already. Cool. The archers shouldn't be able to hit me from here. Yeah, they should have to like get like pretty much to the ridge of here. And then we we charge. Yeah, so we can probably get a little bit closer. Like here. And as soon as they peek over their heads, and we, when, we, when we pounce. How's it going, Kel? Welcome, dude. <laughs> Cavalry's coming in, though. We can fight this. <laughs> One shot. most annoying thing about RTS camera is like as soon as you die they just like immediately tell your soldiers you dumb stuff oh. 
Uh, yo, Squeaky, how's it going, man? Fuck off. You need to get a little bit closer first. Infantry! Soldiers! Infantry! Cavalry! Infantry is your shield! Like, here the girl's was getting wrecked. Even she's his shield wall. So dumb. This game is retarded. Like, look at that. Literally. What's the point of even playing? I tell you what's so dumb about it as well. Like again, not it's not the mod, it's Banner Lord. It's like I can't I can't decide what soldiers I bring into battle, you know? Like if I if I could decide, oh, I want to have an entire army of archers from my reserves. Like we have 1,800 men. My men is getting stuck, like push, kill them. Not hard. Yeah, fuck this. I don't wrap up the stream here, guys. Not because we're getting wrecked there, uh, but I need to go because my girlfriend's going out at seven. Um, so I think I'm just going to wrap up the stream there and we'll deal with that later. But it's so dumb, like, quickly, to rant. It's so dumb that I can't choose to have all my archers come in the battle first and do that to them. Like, why can't I? The list of the battle is based on your party li list? What do you mean? Uh, I don't think it is. Because I'm in an army. So it's not bringing in... Like it's bringing in everybody's troops. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to wrap up the stream here. Uh, we'll continue this on and then we'll give that battle another go. Um, but yeah, I don't want to restart and give it another go now because we need to go soon. Um, you can. You're not in an army because it's bringing in soldiers from every army. So it's not... It's not like, I can't. Unless, like, unless I can determine their army compositions, but I don't think I can. Because it's not only just bringing my army in, is it? It's bringing in everybody's army. That's uh, such a silly mechanic, then. Like, that's how it works. I guess, like, at least my percentage gets in if I put them up to the top of the list. But, like, it's so long. Like, I have to go through and... Like, look how many archers I have if we, we were to do that. Yeah, but I'm in an... I don't think you guys understand my point. My point is that we're in an army. You can talk to them and rearrange. Oh my god, I don't want to do that. Like, for what, one battle? And then... That is no. That is, like... I've got 600 men. Am I going to be like, okay, so let's find one archer. Okay, there's an archer there. Let's bring him to the top. Okay, that's that done. Like, this is going to be here for ages. Like, luckily I have this. that so I could probably do it. I could probably set up. Um... Like, that is a bit better, probably. Like, I guess I could do it that way, but it's just, you have icons? What do you mean? Please explain, brother, because this is important, I guess. What do you mean, you have icons? Like, this is a mod I have. Not vanilla. Like, what do you mean icons? I'm waiting, Yubis. Please help me, brother.
in the left of the picture with the sword, bow, and horse. Left of the picture. I had no idea what you're talking about. Like this. Left of the picture. There's no... Am I blind? Yeah, there's no way to do it, right? I could probably finish, like, sort it out here. I guess. You go to your town, you can pull the infantry out. Yeah, I guess I could do that. It's just kind of annoying, but yeah, I guess you could. Either way, like, it's, like I've got 1,700 men in my party. It's not going to make a big difference. But yeah. Uh, anyway, it's cool. We'll sort it out. We'll fight this battle uh, next episode. If we lose, we lose. Hopefully, we won't, though. Um, and we just need to find a good battle map where we can use the terrain to our advantage and rush them. But them archers, oh, it's just disgusting. Uh, it really is. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. Um, sorry for cutting it short, but again, I, I did say I have to, to go at 7, so uh, might as well wrap things up now, because that battle will probably last about 30, 40 minutes, and we don't really have time to do that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the donations and new members as well. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys next time on Wednesday. Oh, yo, thank you so much, Swedish, for $50. Holy crap, dude. We're just ending the stream right now, my man. So you come in for the $50, Swedish. Thank you so much, man. That's really generous. I, uh, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Sorry, I'm literally just wrapping up the stream now because i got to go look after the pup. But thank you so much, Swedish. Really appreciate that. $50 is a lot of money to donate. Yeah, you were late, yeah. But you can just go back and watch the stream from the beginning now, so no need to worry there. Uh, but yeah, next, next stream, we're going to continue on fighting against the Twins. Hopefully taking this territory, expanding ours, uh, and, and going on from there. Look at that as well. Massive wars over... Uh, how's uh, the the, the, the Oceans pretty much took all of this land, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, once again, thank you so much for my $50, Swedish. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Tomorrow will be the Star Wars mod video. So check that out. I'll see you guys in the next one.